the United States is launching a new submarine that costs more than an aircraft carrier and for a terrifying reason. It's a silent monster, a deep sea assassin so advanced that other countries are scrambling to figure out if they can even detect it. The answer, to put it mildly, is no. Submerge the ship, dive I. Dive, dive. This vessel is the single most complex machine ever built, designed to be invisible to all known sonar. We're pulling back the curtain on the top secret systems that make this new submarine the most feared weapon on the planet. The Silent Fortress of Doom. There is one part of the United States military that is more important, more powerful, and more secret than any other. It's not the aircraft carriers, and it's not the stealth bombers, it's the boomers, the massive nuclear-armed ballistic missile submarines that glide silently unseen, holding the power to end human civilization in their hands. For decades, this power has rested with the legendary Ohio-class submarines. But the thing is, they're getting old. Their reactors are aging and their hulls are tired. The U.S. Navy needed a replacement. And what they're building is, to put it mildly, the most terrifying and advanced machine ever created by humankind. Meet the Columbia class. This isn't just an upgrade, it's a technological monster. The first ship, the USS District of Columbia, is under construction right now and the details are staggering. First, the size. This will be the largest submarine ever built by the United States, stretching 560 feet long. That's longer than the Washington Monument is tall. It will weigh over 20,000 tons when it's underwater. But its size isn't what makes it scary. Its silence is. The Columbia class is designed to be a black hole in the ocean. The biggest wow factor is its power source. The submarine is built around a revolutionary new nuclear reactor that is designed to last for the entire life of the ship. We're talking 42 years of continuous power without ever needing to be refueled. Think about that. Most nuclear subs have to go into dry dock for a long, expensive, and dangerous refueling process halfway through their lives. The Columbia never has to. It can deploy, submerge, and stay hidden for its entire four-decade lifespan. But the reactor is just the start. The real secret weapon is the drive system. For a hundred years, submarines have used noisy gears to connect the steam turbines to the propeller. You see, no matter how well you build them, gears make noise. They grind, they mesh, they vibrate. And in the deep ocean, that vibration is a dinner bell for enemy hunters. The Columbia class throws that entire idea away. It uses a super advanced electric drive system. The nuclear reactor generates massive amounts of electricity, which powers a permanent magnet motor. This motor turns the propeller shaft directly. There are no gears. The only sound is the faint hum of electricity, a sound that is indistinguishable from the ocean's own background noise. It's a ghost. And what does this ghost carry? It's armed with 16 missile tubes, each holding a Trident 2D5 ballistic missile. Each one of those missiles can carry up to 12 independent nuclear warheads and can travel over 7,000 miles. You can do the math. A single invisible submarine, which nobody can find, can unleash hundreds of warheads on any target on the planet in under 30 minutes. This is why other nations are terrified. The Columbia class represents the ultimate insurance policy. It guarantees that no matter what happens, a devastating response is always waiting, silently, in the deep. The price for this power, the program will cost well over $100 billion. But as military planners see it, the price of not having it is even higher. But this is just the shield. What about the sword? What about the submarines built to hunt these new threats? Why the Virginia class rules the waves. If the Columbia class is the hidden fortress, the Virginia class is the high-tech assassin. These are the hunter predators, the submarines that are right now the most advanced attack subs on the planet. They are the ones that quietly patrol the world's most dangerous choke points, listen to undersea data cables, deploy Navy SEALs, and, if they have to, hunt down and eliminate enemy ships and submarines. They were designed to replace the massive fleet of Cold War-era Los Angeles-class subs, and they are a quantum leap forward in technology. What many people overlook is just how smart these subs are. The Virginia class was the first to get rid of the iconic old-fashioned periscope. You know, the tube that sailors would raise up and look through. That's gone. Instead, it has a photonics mast. 
This is a high-tech sensor mast with high-definition cameras, infrared, and light intensification systems. It just pops up for a few seconds, records everything in 360 degrees, and then ducks back down. The signal is sent by fiber optic cable to the command center, which is not at the top of the sub anymore. It's in a larger, safer, roomier space deep inside the hull where the entire command team can look at the images on giant plasma screens. Like the Columbia, the Virginia class is also incredibly quiet. It doesn't use a traditional propeller. It uses a pump jet propulsor. This is basically a complex set of spinning blades inside a high-tech duct. It's wildly efficient, but more importantly, it doesn't cavitate. It doesn't create those tiny, noisy bubbles that propellers make at high speed. This, combined with special sound dampening tiles on the hull, makes the Virginia class just vanish into the ocean. But here's the real WTF moment. The Navy is constantly upgrading them. The newest Block 5 versions of the Virginia class are being built with an entire new section of hull added to the middle. This is called the Virginia Payload Module, or VEPM. This 88-foot-long plug adds four more massive tubes, each capable of holding seven Tomahawk cruise missiles. This one change triples the sub's land attack firepower. It turns the submarine from a hunter into a full-blown underwater arsenal, capable of launching 40 Tomahawks at targets hundreds of miles inland. It's also a mothership, capable of launching and recovering fleets of underwater drones. It's a spy, a hunter, and a battleship, all wrapped in one silent package. But to understand why the Virginia is so smart and adaptable, you have to look at the sub it almost was, the most advanced and most problematic submarine ever built. When advanced becomes impossible. Back in the late 1980s, as the Cold War was hitting its peak, the U.S. Navy was spooked. The Soviets were rolling out their new Akula-class submarines, which were suddenly much quieter than expected. The U.S. was in danger of losing its edge in the deep, so they decided to build a submarine so powerful, so quiet, and so overwhelmingly dominant that it could hunt the entire Soviet fleet and win. They designed the Sea Wolf class. To put it mildly, this thing was, and still is, a beast. It's massive, weighing over 9,000 tons. It was built from special HY-100 high-strength steel, allowing it to dive deeper and withstand more pressure than any other U.S. attack sub. The exact depth is still highly classified. It was armed to the teeth with eight massive torpedo tubes, double the number on the Virginia class, and a huge magazine for up to 50 torpedoes and missiles. And its speed was and is legendary, rumored to be able to top 35 knots or over 40 miles per hour underwater. But the wow factor that people in the Navy still talk about is its quietness. The Sea Wolf was the first U.S. sub to use a pump jet propulsor, and it was engineered to perfection. The unofficial claim is that the Sea Wolf is quieter at its full, screaming top speed than an old Los Angeles-class sub was when tied to the pier. Think about that. A silent missile moving at highway speeds underwater. It was the perfect predator, but it had a perfect and fatal flaw. Its cost. Just as the first one was being built, the Soviet Union collapsed. The Cold War was over. Suddenly, Congress looked at the price tag. Each Seawolf submarine cost over $3 billion. In 1990s money. That's closer to $6 billion today. The Navy had planned to build nearly 30 of them. Congress canceled the program almost immediately. In the end, only three Seawolves were ever built. The USS Seawolf, the USS Connecticut, and the USS Jimmy Carter. The Jimmy Carter was even modified with a 100-foot extension for special operations and, reportedly, undersea cable tapping. The Sea Wolf taught the Navy a hard lesson. Being the most advanced is useless if you can't afford to build it. That lesson forced the Navy to get creative, and now they're designing the replacement for both the Virginia and the Sea Wolf. What comes after Virginia? So what comes next? What's the true new submarine that has other nations terrified? It's currently known only by its project name, SSNX, or the Next Generation Attack Submarine. This is the submarine that will enter service in the 20s and 30s and 40s, and it's being designed from the ground up to be the ultimate predator, combining all the lessons from the last three generations. You see, the Navy is looking at a new world. They love the Sea Wolf's raw power, its speed, and its massive weapons payload. 
They love the Virginia's high-tech brain, its sensors, and its cost-effective modular design. The SSNX is being designed to be the best of both. Planners are stating that it will have the speed and payload of the Seawolf class, but with the high-tech sensors and acoustic superiority of the Columbia class. This is a terrifying combination. It will almost certainly be much larger than the Virginia class, potentially as large as the old Seawolf. This size is needed to fit a larger reactor and more advanced drive system for high-speed silent running. It's also being designed to carry more weapons. Many believe it will return to the eight-tube loadout of the Seawolf, carrying a massive arsenal of torpedoes and a new generation of hypersonic long-range missiles. But the real leap forward will be its brain. The SSNX is being designed as the quarterback of a whole underwater fleet. We're not just talking about one submarine, we're talking about one manned submarine that controls a swarm of large unmanned wingman drones. The SSNX will be able to stay deep and silent miles away from danger while it sends its robotic hunters forward to find the enemy. It will use artificial intelligence to process an overwhelming amount of sensor data, giving its human crew a godlike view of the underwater battlefield. It's being designed specifically to operate in the deep, dangerous waters of the Pacific and to counter the massive, growing Chinese Navy. This all sounds like science fiction. But why does one quiet submarine really terrify an entire nation? Why silence equals fear? So, why all the panic? Many people watching this might be wondering if this is all hype. Is it really that big of a deal? Is this just a case of military contractors trying to justify a sky-high budget? Are we missing a key detail? The thing is, it's not hype. It's a fundamental shift in power. In underwater warfare, there is only one rule. The first one to be found loses. It's not a guideline, it's an obituary. You can have all the missiles in the world, you can have the thickest armor, but if your enemy hears you first, you are just a target waiting for a torpedo. You are already gone. In the dark, crushing pressure of the deep ocean, there is no second place. There is only the hunter and the hunted, and the difference is silence. These new generations of U.S. submarines, from the Virginias in service now to the Columbias just being built to the SSNX on the drawing board, are all built for one purpose, acoustic invisibility. They aren't just quiet. They are designed to be quieter than the ocean itself. This is a terrifying concept. Their engines and reactors are mounted on massive sound-dampening rafts, isolating their vibrations from the hull so they never even touch the water. Their new propulsors don't use traditional noisy propellers that chop the water, creating bubbles, a phenomenon called cavitation. Instead, they use pump jets that scoop the water, a revolutionary design that is drastically, almost impossibly, silent. And then there's the hull. Their hulls are shaped to deflect sonar pings in weird directions, scattering the signal so nothing returns to the sender. But even more incredible are the special coatings. These are anechoic tiles, essentially high-tech foam designed to absorb sonar, making them black holes to enemy sensors. A sonar ping goes out, it hits the submarine, and nothing comes back. Just the endless, empty sound of the sea. This creates what military strategists call a bubble of terror. An enemy admiral has to assume that in any patch of ocean at any time, a Virginia or Sea Wolf could be listening right now, just a few thousand yards away, torpedoes ready. Imagine being that admiral. You look at your strategic map. Where is the enemy? The answer is terrifying, everywhere and nowhere. You can't move your aircraft carriers. You can't protect your shipping lanes. You can't even leave port without the paralyzing fear that you are being watched by something you cannot see, cannot hear, and cannot fight. That's all for today. Do you think this level of advanced invisible power is a necessary shield for the world? Or is it a terrifying step too far in global power? Let us know your thoughts below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more hidden technology.